Each year we try to do a new turkey video, and this year we're gonna do a smoked turkey on my torpedo stick burner. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. First thing I'm gonna do is give you guys just a couple of pro tips. Number one, you wanna get that turkey 100% thawed. It must be thawed, especially deep down inside the thigh area. That's where the ice tends to stay the longest. Pro tip number two, you wanna pull it out of the refrigerator. You wanna let the meat come to temperature a little bit at least, for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Then it will cook a little bit quicker and your thighs will not lag behind the breast as far as doneness goes. Number three, you wanna use a good rub. Any rub with a little salt and pepper in it's gonna be good. Of course, we all have different preferences. We're gonna be using some of my wow and a little bit of smoked paprika, mainly because I like the flavor of the wow on everything, and the paprika adds a real nice pretty color too. Tip number four, a smoker, especially a stick burner, is not like an oven. An oven is an enclosed environment, so 300 degrees in the oven is not the same as 300 degrees on an offset stick burner or in a torpedo stick burner like the one I'll be using today. I like to cook my turkey at somewhere between 275 and 300, no more than 325 on a stick burner in the oven. They usually recommend you start at 400, 425. There are a lot of recommendations online as far as how many hours per pound. I personally do not follow any of those because every barbecue grill is different. It does make a difference if you're in a drum, if you're in a Weber kettle, if you're in a stick burner like we'll be using today. You can't go wrong if you just follow temperature. So I'll be using an ink burn thermometer with a probe to monitor my temperature on the breast and on the thighs. The other thing I'm gonna do for my turkey today is I'm gonna inject it. It does have six to eight percent solution already in it, so there's a little bit of salt, so be careful with your injection. If you are going to inject, you can get away with a normal brine, which is a cup of sugar and a cup of salt to one gallon of water ratio. Today we're using homemade chicken broth, two cups and about a quarter cup of uh, butter. I also added one teaspoon of OG, which is just salt, pepper, garlic. Now you can put all kinds of different things in there. You can season under the skin, you can butter under the skin, you can do a lot of different things. In my opinion, the injection takes care of all of that. So we're gonna use an injection today. I'm gonna pull this thing off right here, whatever this plastic thing is, I always take it off, I don't use it at all, because I want some of that heat to get into the turkey right here. The butter's floating a little bit on top, so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit with the injector. That gets all the air bubbles out of the syringe as well. I'm gonna start right here toward the end of the breast, and I'm just gonna inject a little bit, folks. We're gonna go down here on this side a little bit. I like to move the needle in different directions so that we get nice, even injection all through the breast. And this will be the, the third syringe in the breast, so we have plenty of delicious flavor inside the breast. Now I'm gonna do the other breast. Okay, now I don't inject the wings myself. You can if you want to. So we're just gonna probably do one syringe on the inside of the drumstick, about one on the outside. All right, we're gonna get this thigh, put a little extra moisture in there, a little bit of flavor, really. We're looking more, it's more about flavor on the thighs and the drumstick than it is about moisture. Let's do the other side of the turkey as well. Cool. We're good with that. We're gonna dry this turkey with some paper towels, use a little bit of olive oil, and season it up with some wow. You can use butter. I've done them with parquet. It works fine with parquet. Use whatever oil you want. Spread it out nice and even. We're gonna take some of this wow. Make sure we get it on the back side of this wing too. Back side of this wing. And we're gonna get some on the bottom here of the turkey. We wanna rub that in there so it gets nice and even on the bottom side. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of paprika. And we're gonna rub that all around. So we get a nice pretty color on our turkey. Okay, let's put a little bit of olive oil up here on top of the turkey as well. Three hour cook approximately, so you can get a little bit more aggressive with your seasoning. I like the color the paprika brings to the table. You don't really taste it. It's really more about color. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Now I am a fan of tucking the wings up underneath like that. So the breast will get all the beautiful color and all the smoke and all that goodness, folks. All right, I'm gonna dice up about a half an onion. I'm gonna put those onions and about a half stick of butter inside the turkey cavity here. We're ready to get our turkey on. I got my fire going with some pro pit char logs and a little bit of mesquite lump charcoal. 
I just laid a log of pecan. I love pecan on my poultry, especially on turkey. And just for reference, I'm gonna check the uh, internal temperature. Uh, remember what I said was you don't want your thighs to be semi-frozen. We're looking at 59 degrees, perfect temperature, somewhere in the high 50s, low 60s to get into the smoker. So we're at 58, 57 right there, perfect. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this turkey and I'm gonna lay it on this roasting rack here. There we go. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna use this rack first without the pan so I can get smoke on the top, the bottom, all the way around. I'm gonna rotate it once at least. And then I'm gonna put it into the pan with a little bit of liquid in there, probably some chicken broth and water. Let's go outside, get this bird in the smoke. We're sitting right at 300. Let's get this turkey in here to get this show on the road. My heat's on the right. I'm gonna point my drumsticks and my thighs to the heat source first. We're gonna let that ride for a while and then we'll rotate it a little bit later. Boom, let's cook some turkey. I'm gonna lay both of these right here. So I can get a little bit of smoke. All right, friends, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. It's time to take a look at it. We've been cruising about 300. I'm down to about 250 right now. Let's see what we got. Whew, yeah, that looks pretty good. We've got our little neck going here. It's getting a little bit of smoke for the gravy. And I'm gonna rotate this around just because I like to make sure I get nice, even cooking. Close this thing back up and let it ride a little bit longer. It's time to check it one more time. It's looking real pretty. And it's time to put it in the pan so we can catch those amazing drippings. It's been about an hour and a half. Have some really pretty color going on there. We're gonna put it right back here middle see and you can see here it's looking really nice and we're fixing to go ahead and pull out our uh, neck and tail so that we can make a little gravy with it been another 30 minutes and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and baste this turkey what I did was I melted down some salted butter and I'm just gonna put some butter on here oh I can feel that skin it's already nice and tight we're gonna put a lot of butter on here and what I did, I melted a stick of butter and I put a little bit of rosemary in there just for flavor, a little more flavor. Nothing wrong with more flavor, is there? It's looking good, folks. Back to the pit you go, little birdie. I'm no gravy expert, but I did my research. So we're gonna start with about a quarter stick of butter, about a quarter cup of onions, one garlic clove, about a quarter cup of uh, celery, that's already cut up, and about a quarter cup of carrots. This is not your grandma's gravy, this is Arnie Tex gravy. We're gonna drain the drippings. Oh, look at all those drippings. That's gonna be yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, now while this is still a little bit warm, I'm gonna pour this, or most of it, into a fat separator. All right, friends, I'm gonna pour some of this broth in here, a little at a time. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. I can use either OG, straight salt. Generally, you always want some salt and pepper in your gravy. This is my year to make gravy, so I'm gonna put some wow in the gravy. About a tablespoon of flour here. I'm gonna whisk it in. Once you add flour, you gotta keep whisking and whisking and whisking. My mom says you're supposed to dissolve the flour first in cold water. I didn't do that today. She's not here, so it's okay. I think, but if I get clumps in here, <laughs> I'm gonna know. All right, now I think it needs a little more salt and pepper. Y'all know what my salt and pepper is. Use whatever you like. I'm gonna stir it a little bit more. All right, we need a little bit more flour to thicken it up a little bit more. I think that's all we're gonna need, another half a tablespoon. All right, friends, the gravy's done. Let's slice Mr. Turkey over there. Turkey's ready, all smoked up and ready to get sliced. So we're gonna carve up this turkey and see what it looks like. Look at that pretty smoke color. Oh, baby. That tastes good. Wowza. All right, cool. This looks really good. 
All right, I can see a lot of moisture. You can see some of the injection flavors in here. It's really, really moist. Looking good. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I look so good. I like that smoky flavor from the stick burner. Mm. I'm gonna pour some of this on here. Ooh, man, look at that, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Need some cranberries. Yeah, I need some cranberries. <laughs> and some green beans with bacon and some mashed potatoes. All right, how is it with the gravy on there? Ooh, baby. Gotta have gravy with turkey. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's some good gravy right there. That's some good turkey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. That turkey, you can taste the pecan smoke. It tastes really, really good. I can taste the injection flavor. Really adds a lot of good flavor and moisture to the turkey. You can't have Thanksgiving dinner without gravy. That gravy right there is amazing. Guys, I don't know what else to say except that this is wonderful. And I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you smoke a really great turkey this year. So what we used to rub the turkey today was the APC Wow. If you want to get you some Wow and Wow your turkey this year, go to pitmaster.us. So if you want to get some APC OG, it is the perfect blend of salt, pepper, and garlic. So folks, go to pitmaster.us. If you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. If you like the video, hit the like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends and family to have a smoky good turkey this year. Remember to keep the smoke light and make it work and have a wow kind of Thanksgiving. Boom! In a stick burner especially, you have a high volume of air flowing through there. The onion, the onion. <laughs> I bet y'all want to know what's in here, right? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs>